Hi guys and welcome to another grocery haul. I went to Aldi this trip and I'm going to jump in and show you what all I bought. Let's just go ahead and start down here with the holiday. Got a little bit of a glare there from the sun coming through. It is a cookie kit, a ninja bread, gingerbread cookie kit. How cute is that? And I am a mother of three grown sons and I have two grandsons so ninja bread I think is gonna be a hit and I'm um, not too girly after all we are decorating cookies so the ninja ones I thought were fun and we'll just put this in the pantry and pull this out in December and have a lot of fun we've done some activities like that before and I uh, thought these were cute so this is going to be ready and waiting for us come December. I think that was maybe $5.99, maybe $4.99, something like that. Not too bad. All right, let's jump into the haul. I got oyster crackers, two packages of saltine. Our church um, supports a local food pantry. This month, the donation item was saltine crackers, so I picked up two boxes for that. I uh, got some aluminum foil. Got some wonky light here because of the sun coming in. Granny Smith apples. I am making a recipe for Snickers salad tomorrow to share on Fall Food Friday, the collab with Moss Family. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see that recipe. It's a fun kind of fall recipe. Parmesan cheese, two boxes of stuffing mix. I'm still on my zucchini or squash casserole kick and the stuffing mix is what goes on top. So I picked up two boxes of those so I have it whenever I'm ready. The packaging on this looks so much like Trader Joe's and if you know Aldi and Trader Joe's are kind of a sister kind of store situation so I was needing some K cups for church that were cocoa so this is so cute so I'm glad to have found those. Um, the apple juice it's 100% juice in the little boxes picked up that a box of Jiffy corn mix some pecan halves the prices were pretty good on that today maybe five something for that. One little lone can of tuna here, um, some romaine, hearts, bananas, four cans of cream of chicken, four cans of evaporated milk, four cans of the great northern beans. I haven't bought these in years and years, but I thought these would be fun to keep for my little grandsons. It would be a quick, very easy protein for them um, on the mornings that they're here with us. So we pick that up it's like a dollar for that package you just microwave them got two boxes of cream cheese and moo tubes again for the little grandsons some whipped topping half and half a gallon of whole milk again for the grandsons we don't drink regular milk we drink almond milk but I like to have that for when they're over um, two coffee creamers the sugar-free French vanilla and the butter cookie I love the butter cookie like crazy. The apple cider from Aldi is really yummy. I think it's $3.79 for the gallon and it's really good. I thought these were fun. I hadn't seen these before. The Mama Kazi brand cheese filled pub pretzels. There's five sticks and you just bake them in the oven. So I thought that would be kind of a fun fall, you know, Oktoberfest time at Oktoberfest type of uh, vibe with those. Some Dino Nuggets. I don't think I've ever tried the Kirkwood brand from Aldi. We're going to give those a try for the little boys, of course. Um, I thought this looked really good today. Alaskan Cod. It was $9.99 for this two-pound bag. And then I also picked up this seafood mix, which it says it's a perfect blend of raw shrimp, calamari, bay scallops, and mussels. And it looks really, really good. So pick that up as well. I think this was $5.99. Got two bags of the broccoli florets. I think I forgot to mention the string cheese back there. Um, one package of hot dog buns. Some rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. This looks really, really good. Um, a bag of Snickers for the Snickers salad that you want to come back and watch for tomorrow. And then next week I'm going to be sharing a recipe for the best sweet potato casserole I have ever had in my entire life. You don't want to miss that, so make sure you come back for that. And that is the end of the haul, you guys. It was a kind of a short and sweet one for some pretty specific things that we were out of. 
Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't shopped at Aldi before, give Aldi a try. It's one of my favorite stores. And um, hope you're having a great fall. All right, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Give this a thumbs up if you like grocery hauls. Subscribe if you've not. I'd appreciate that a bunch, and I'll see you around the next time. Bye-bye.